Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. So today I come up with a new project, which is building the burglar alarm project using PR motion sensor, buzzer, and the Raspberry Pi Pico. So this is going to be a fourth video, or you can say the fourth project in the series that we have started, which is getting started with Micro Python using the Raspberry Pi Pico. In this project, you are going to learn about how to build the circuit diagram on the EasyUDA platform. And also you are going to learn about the MicroPython programming. So here I am using the PIR motion sensor and the Raspberry Pi Pico. So we will see how to write the code for the same using the Thani IDE and the MicroPython programming language. So without wasting time, let's get started. So here you can see on the screen that I have opened the EasyUDA platform. So this is the platform where you can able to build the schematic as well as the PCB you can build here. So in order to add the components, you have to search here whatever the components you need. So I have already added all the components in my favorite section so that I can easily able to add them. So here you can see I have the Raspberry Pi Pico. So I can add this Raspberry Pi. So I can click it and I can take it here in this sheet. Also I need few more components which are like PR motion sensor. So here I'll add the PR motion sensor. Okay, so now I need buzzer. So I add the buzzer. And also I need one LED. So I can add LED from the library itself. So here you can see if I have the LED. I guess I do have the LED. Okay, yes, I got it. So now I'll just connect the LED. So now as you can see, we have added all the components that we require. Now we'll do the connection for the same. Take it here. Okay. So now first we'll connect the ground. I'll just take the wire and I'll connect the ground to any of the ground which I can find. So here I can find the ground and now I'll connect the output of the PR motion sensor to the GPIO 28 of the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you can see here. Okay. Now I'll connect VCC to the VBUS. So now why I'm connecting this VCC to the VBUS? Because whenever you will connect any micro USB cable to the Raspberry Pi Pico, then you will get the 5 volt supply. So this 5 volt exact, so that exact 5 volt supply you will get in the VBUS. So we need 5 volt supply for the PR motion sensor as well. So that's why I have connected VCC to the VBUS. Okay. So now we will connect the other components which is LED and the buzzer. So I have connected the buzzer to the GPIO2. So this is basically the ground. So I will connect the ground to the ground. And now here you can see the positive terminal of the buzzer. I will connect it to the GPIO2. So now I will connect the LED. This is the positive terminal. So I will connect this positive to the GPIO 3 of the Raspberry Pi Pico and I'll connect the negative to any of the ground pin you will find. I can find here the ground pin and I can connect it here. Okay, so now it's very simple to build the schematic on the Easy Media platform. Now you just have to do the same connection on the breadboard with Raspberry Pi Pico and then you are good to go. So this is the first part of the project, building the circuit diagram. And now the most important part of the project is to write the code in MicroPython. So for that I am using the Thony IDE. Now if you are not aware about what is Thony IDE, how to use the Thony IDE and how to write the code in the Thony IDE, then you have to watch my previous videos. Then you have to watch my previous videos. I'll mention the link in the description box as well as in the i button. Okay, so now we will jump to the most important part that is coding. Okay, so as you know that we need to import the libraries. So here I'll import library from machine. So this is a machine library and from machine I wanted to import the pins. So I'll write here import pin and enter. Also, I need time. So I'll import here time. Import time. Now the next step is we need to define the pins that we are using. Right. 
सो हियर वर यूजिंग दी बजर एल ई डी एंड दी पी आर मोशन सेंसर सो हियर वी नीड टू डिफाइन द पिन दैट वी आर यूजिंग सो हियर वर यूजिंग दी बजर एल ई डी एंड द पी आर मोशन सेंसर सो नाउ आई डिफाइन दोज पिन सो हियर आई राइट द कॉमेंट दैट डिफाइन द पिन एंटर सो इन ऑर्डर टू राइट द कमेंट यू हैव टू राइट द हैश एंड देन यू कैन राइट द कमेंट सो आई राइट हियर बजर इज इक्वल टू पिन सो यू हैव टू राइट दिस पी इन कैपिटल पिन ओपनिंग क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट एंड देन यू नीड टू राइट द पिन दैट यू आर यूजिंग सो हियर यू नो दैट फॉर बजर वी हैव यूज पिन नंबर और जी पी आई ऑफ टू सो आई राइट हियर टू कॉम हॉ देन यू हैव टू राइट this buzzer then you have to write here this pin is basically the output pin so we need to define that this is the output pin so how to define that write p in capital p and dot o u t this out also in capital pin dot o u t enter now also define the same way the next pin so what i'll do i'll just copy this stuff and instead of buzzer i'll write it led is equal to it's connected to the pin number 3 that's all and now you can see this is also the output pin so led and buzzer is output pin so that's why i define it output pin so now let's write for pir so i'll type pir or you can write the variable name as differently so i can write here motion sensor or something like that also so pir is equal to the same way i'll just copy all the stuff and paste it here but the pir motion sensor giving us the output like whether there is if there is motion then it will give you 0 or 1 so whenever there is a motion it will give you 1 that means it is input for the raspberry pi pico so we need to write in so now we have defined the pins So whenever we start the code first, then I want to turn off my buzzer and LED at the time of start. So what I'll do? So I'll write here buzzer dot value. Here I'll write zero. So in order to turn on and off the buzzer, we will use this command called buzzer dot value. So dot value. is basically we are giving the argument which is 0 or 1 in order to turn that particular device on or off so the same thing for led dot value so here i'm just turning it off so it's turned off now i wanted to create a function inside the micro python so this function is basically useful for create the burglar sound effect from the buzzer and then i can access this function whenever there is a motion so how to create those function in the micro python so let's see that so i'll write here defining the function for burglar alarm enter so in order to define the functions we need to write def and name of the function i'll give the name burg लर अंडरस्कोर अलार्म ओपनिंग क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट एंड देन एंड देन कोलन एंटर सो नाउ वी हैव डिफाइंड द फंक्शन कॉल्ड बर्गलर अलार्म सो बेसिकली हियर आई वॉन्टेड टू एक्सेस दिस फंक्शन वेन एवर द मोशन इज हैपनिंग नाउ इन साइड दिस फंक्शन आई राइट दी फॉर लुक and also explain you the what is the use of this for loop for i in range opening closing bracket and i'll write here 5 now i wanted to turn on the buzzer so in order to turn on the buzzer i'll write buzzer dot value 1 so this makes buzzer on now for certain amount of time i wanted to turn it on so how can i do that so for that i'll write here time dot sleep and i'll provide the time which is 0.1 
enter and once again i'll just turn it off using this command buzzer dot value is equal to zero with the same timing which is time dot sleep 0.1 I can also copy these commands okay so you can see I'm just turning on the buzzer for very less amount of time and I wanted to create a sound effect of burglar alarm so for that I need to repeat the same process for five times so that's why I've used the for loop here so now we will define our loop which is while loop so I'll write here while true colon enter so now, I, so now I wanted to see that whether the motion happening or not. So how can I see that? So for that, I need to print the data of motion sensor onto the shell. So for that, I'll write here, print, opening closing bracket, and I'll write PIR dot value opening closing bracket. So this command can print the value of motion sensor onto the shell of the Thony ID. Now, now here comes the conditional statement that I wanted to use here. So whenever any motion happens around the motion sensor, then we will turn on the LED as well as we will turn on the burglar effect or we can call that function which, which we have defined earlier. So here I'll write if PIR dot value opening closing bracket is equal to is equal to one then what I wanted to do then I wanted to call this function called burglar alarm so I'll just copy this function and I paste it here and also I just wanted to turn on the LED so in order to turn on the LED I write LED dot value opening closing bracket and one so this makes LED on when there is a motion now also i wanted to write that if there is no motion then i'll just turn off everything so i'll just turn off the buzzer as well as the led as well so i'll just take this or else i'll copy these commands and paste it here okay so now we will just try to just run this project let's see so the code is not running so there is an error in this code so let's see what's the error in this code. So it says the error in the line 22. Also here I can you can see that I have just defined this pins. Let's zoom it. I have defined that PR sensor is connected to the pin number 3. It's wrong. So it's connected to the pin number 28. Sorry. And then also here the indentation error is there which is like for else. So what I'll do I'll just write it here. And then also for LED also. So let's see now. So now you can see there is no error in the code. So I have made two errors. One is like the pin which I uh, which I am using the 28 and the indentation which I am using in the else block. So you can see the data is printing on the shell. That is one. That means there is motion happening around the PR motion sensor. So now I will show you the project output as well. So now on the screen you can see the burglar sound effect is there right so this is the my motion sensor the motion is happening and the led is turned on also the buzzer is so as i'm moving my hand here and there so that's why the motion is there so due to that this project started working so data so motion data is also printing on the shell so this is the simplest project that you can build using the pr motion sensor raspberry pi pico and the buzzer so the main part i wanted to teach you is that the micro pattern coding so that's the main part so just do subscribe the channel and like the video Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.